hope it does. It's working. Thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, thank you for having me tonight. It's a really nice venue. It's a really great uh, event, and I see a lot of like uh, interested uh, people, and I'm really happy to be here. Um, I will talk a little bit about banking, uh, banking by design, um, and what that means for us. And I will also introduce very quickly what N26 does for those who do not know our service or who are not customers yet. Um, and then uh, I will also talk a little bit about what actually differentiates us from uh, traditional banks and how we're going to change this industry. Um, is this thing working here? I don't know. I can, I can also do it. There's an on switch. Ah, switch. It's on. Okay, sorry, technology. <laughs> okay, basically, we are providing. No, no, it's working. You must click. Click? Okay. Um, we are providing a bank account for the 21st century. Uh, it's mobile first, it's real time focus. We, got, uh, we started together with a traditional bank from Munich as being our partner, uh, but we got our own banking license just in the summer this year. Um, and now we are eligible to operate on a European scale uh, with a fully fledged banking license. Um, and we are focusing, as I said, fully on mobile, uh, have providing a one, one touch or one click experience actually for the mobile phone. We have three key areas, three key directions we are focusing on. Uh, and the first is basically internationalization and growth. So um, we are definitely the fast gro fastest growing uh, mobile bank in Germany. Uh, and one of the fastest in, in the world. Um, and this is one direction, but it's not that much about product, it's not that much about design, that's why I will skip this part. Um, and if you are interested in our internationalization, just follow the press and media, there's a lot of nice stuff coming up. Um, what I'll try to focus a little bit more is about the other two directions. The first one is smart banking. So we want to make banking smart and want to build a bank account which is actually helping customers to have, uh, to, to have a better overview of their financials, to take better decisions at the end of the day, save money, optimize their portfolio. Um, we are doing a few things already in, in our app. Uh, one example I, I really like myself and where we will invest a lot next year in is the future timeline. So just imagine your bank um, and you actually always have this transaction list. It might be ugly, it might be really nice, but it's a transaction list and you can scroll to the past to see what you've been doing yesterday, how much you spent actually for drinks on the weekend. What we want to do, we want to bring it to the future so you can actually scroll into the future of your transactions. You can see, okay, when the next direct debit is actually hitting your account, when the next standing order is actually being executed, and we actually try in the future to budget, to uh, make you some budgets and uh, show you how much you actually spend in average per week or per month on, on certain things. So you can scroll in the future because the future is still something you can change. You can see, oh, actually tomorrow Spotify is taking some money from me uh, and you can just cancel this uh, subscription. So this is something, one, one example, how we consider making banking smarter um, and making banking more accessible for customers and bringing additional value uh, to, our, to our bank account. While obviously we're also providing traditional services like a credit card, um, doing the, uh, transfers uh, as you know them from your bank. Um, moving on from, from smart banking, and this is actually one thing uh, we believe is, is actually key to our strategy and key to the success of our company, is focusing and building the fintech hub. So a lot of, like if you look into fintech, we, we have seen that a lot of companies they are coming up, small fintechs in really, really, with really great products, like a very specialized savings product, a very specialized great insurance product, or credit product, or um, you name all the, the, the other great fintech startups coming up. And what we try is to like, use this trend of um, unbundling and actually make it a rebundling. Um, and actually attack this shark of a, of a traditional bank, be it the Deutsche Bank or a Commerzbank or whatever, uh, with combining all these great services and fintechs into one app, into one experience, while we always want to be in, in, in full control of the user experience, and we are using the technologies of our partners to actually provide a better experience and to provide a better product at the end of the day for our customers. Um, 
to just give you some, some examples so that you can understand what, what, what I'm talking about. Um, we are looking into several of these partners, with some we already started um, our corporations, for example, TransferWise or Vamo. Uh, with some we are talking, with some we will bring some products very soon. But we are building the, the hub of, of fintech technology and bring it all in one bank account. So you identify your, uh, your, your identity, you verify your identity once, and then you have access to all the great products from one app and not from many apps. Um, as I said, one example is TransferWise. TransferWise is a great product. They are, I think the, the, they have become one of the first billion dollar fintechs in Europe. Um, and they provide transfers, multi-currency transfers in I think 25 or almost 30 different currencies all around the world at, a, at a, just a small part of uh, the price from traditional banks. Um, and with a really great user experience and it's, it's a global, a global success. And we took their technology and fully implemented it into our product. So we, we have not build, been building all the technology ourselves. We just had one month of implementation. We built a nice interface. So the customer actually doesn't even recognize that it's TransferWise. We're showing them a, a small logo somewhere that is powered by TransferWise. But it actually feels like doing a normal transfer with N26. Uh, but in the back, it's also all using all the smart technologies from TransferWise to execute a US dollar transfer within just two days paying a, a friction of the fees and have it like fully transparent and, and even faster than if it's done with TransferWise. Because this is another ad value add. We combine and, and bundle with some startups and make better products together. So for TransferWise, it, it takes a little bit longer if you do a transfer with TransferWise. With us, it's, fast, it's even faster than with their own product because we already have the money on our account and we can give the guarantee to TransferWise that the money will, from the customer will arrive. So they already send the money when the customer is triggering actually the transfer. So we can, by, by bundling up, we can make the products even better. Another example um, is Vamo. Vamo is a German-based startup. They built a really nice investment feature. Um, to, for, for those people who are not very into to in investing money and taking, uh, understanding um, shares and funds and stuff like this or just have no time, um, they build a really nice and simple solution and we fully implemented that uh, into our experience and it feels very simple and very straightforward and I'm, I'm using it myself every day and I really enjoy to kind of um, when I did something great, I'm just with two, three clicks, I'm putting 50 euro on my, my uh, investment account, which just, just to, to actually uh, do something good to myself. So it's like, it, it really is fun, and on, the, on my way home, I'm, I'm putting money to my investment account, see it growing. So that's about uh, this experience we try to, to create and we are focusing on. Um, one example I just want to quickly mention, we are not just building uh, fintech uh, hub products, but we also try to innovate um, together with, with other partners who are coming up with new technologies. So just recently we launched together with, um, with Apple and, and the new iOS 10 uh, a possibility that you can send money via your smartphone, just saying, hey Christian, uh, hey Siri, I want to send 10 euro to Christian. And then you just, it's one click to say yes, send and it's done. It's really super fast. I've, uh, everyone was amazed by this experience. It's up to 25 euros, so it's also limited, so that the security, it, with like having an eye on security, but it's like we're experimenting with new technologies and with new approaches, how to transfer money, how to do the very, very basic things uh, people just naturally do since thousands of years. Um, but actually, let's look for a second, look at banking in a, in a general perspective, because this was all about us. And if you look at the, at the disruption uh, index, uh, it's like seven of 10 people said that they would rather go to the dentist than to their banking branch. Um, and this is like how banking tries, like banks try to innovate and like come up with crazy ideas and like make, make like, Marketing departments are maybe well paid to, to come up with just such great ideas. Um, but actually, the bank branch is from yesterday. Um, if you look into the numbers, like branches are closing, more people are get going, moving, moving over to mobile, mobile banking and, and mobile payments. Um, and one very interesting argument for us is that a traditional customer has one to two touch points with a, with a bank branch a year. Well, okay. 
now we moved over to web. And a traditional customer has a one to two touch points per month with his normal web banking, um, which is much better than web bank branches. But what we experience, our customers actually log in once to twice a, a week. Um, and that helps us to just build much more trust in a much faster way with customers because they are much closer to our product. And they are just um, using this experience even for small things and checking their balance just to feel good at the end of the day. Um, and this is like, this helps us to, to, to grow and to uh, spread this experience. Many people don't get it at the beginning. They say, okay, I'm happy with my bank. The, the interface is a little bit shitty, but okay, I don't care. It's just like, I'm just transferring money. Um, so this is this German mindset and we're gonna try to change this um, by basically like making people use the product once and then they just stick with it. I, I couldn't personally live without uh, the, this app anymore. So even if I would leave the N26, I would uh, definitely still use and recommend it. Um, coming to mobile banking. Uh, if you look into mobile banking, this is like what banks try to, okay, let's become more mobile <laughs> um, and not so static, uh, come up with new stuff. Um, it's a good idea. Uh, maybe it's just for marketing. Um, but yes, they're also offering mobile products. But if you look at the mobile bank accounts or mobile banking things, like they are very old fashioned. They don't understand how to use this technology. Um, it's really, really hard for them to, to build great features they, and even like think of new features. Um, we had this advantage to start on the, on the green field and build everything up from, from, from scratch even the core of the technology, and that helped us actually to also uh, innovate on, on not just on the front end, but also on the technology side. Um, so at the end of the day, you will, you, you will wonder, what, what are we doing different? And I, I don't have to tell you, because you're all like familiar with user experience and design. We're not doing anything different. Uh, we are basically just taking what many other industries already do since years. We're just putting the user in the, in, in, in the focus and we focus on experience first and uh, focus on, on, on business and, and, and all these stuff second. So that's how we started and that's how we still focus on uh, going, going on today. Um, so I always want to point out three main differentiators for us. And this is all around experience at the end of the day. And the first one is, that we, as I said, put the customer first and we put the mobile phone first. That's very, very important for us. And I think I will not elaborate on, on all the techniques and stuff, design sprints, uh, user interviews, um, story mapping and so on, which like is best words maybe here, but for, for traditional banks, this sounds like, okay, this is maybe in two years, I'm gonna try this stuff, but let's fix problems now, uh, which we have, like maybe maintenance and server stuff. Um, so I'm, that's why I will not elaborate on it. Yes, we're doing all this stuff you guys do with, your, with great companies, with, with other great, uh, indus in other great industry. We're not doing anything uh, special. We are just hiring great, great people um, who have a passion for what they're doing um, and focus on the customer first, focus on a nice interface and in a great user experience. So I, I don't want to go in any detail. I think you have a lot of these things uh, already today and you will have even more tomorrow. Um, but the second where I want to go a little bit more in detail is the speed. We are focusing on getting things done. And this is a main differentiator to traditional banks uh, because when we want to build a credit product, it takes us from the idea to the go live maybe three months. Um, while a traditional bank will need a, a year just to define a concept and discuss whether they actually want to do it, and if they then do it, it, it takes another year to bring it live, and then it's done in a separate app because the, 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 the department who built the credit actually don't want it to be in the app from the other department So because it's competition. So we focus on speed and we focus on, on getting things done. Um, doing all the stuff you know, retrospectives, always challenging the process, and so on. And the third thing is we want our banking not to feel like banking. We want to make it special, and that's about branding. We're putting the brand first, so customers who use our service, they don't, they have the feeling that it's not a bank, it's just one of the other cool services they are using. Um, the almost last slide I want to show, and this is very, very important in terms of this last step I said, is um, all the, obviously everyone tries to make stuff functional. 
And now everyone said, okay, we need to make stuff simple. Like all banks go crazy about simplicity. I think we brought a lot of business to consultants, to design agencies, because banks are running out, I want to build a simple product. And what we are focusing on, like while other, all the others try to make it simple, we want to make it enjoyable. Because this is what is like really missing in banking, and this is what we focus on. And if you go to the App Store and look into uh, the reviews we have, uh, I think there are a lot of great reviews and you would never, probably never see that at any other bank, that people are so passionate about their stuff in banking. And this is what we, are, what we all love in, in, in doing our daily job. I'm happy to share more with you and uh, talks afterwards. I'm happy if you get back to me. We're looking for great talents, for great partners to work with. Uh, and yeah, if you have any more questions, I'm happy also to answer them now. I think, I think we have time for a few questions. Um, Adam just caught the box. <laughs> um, we have one question here. Do I see more questions? One over there. Okay. Um, my question is, uh, as you're an online banking and you're pushing people to be more digital, what do you think of how do you respond to the fact that cash transactions are actually increasing in Europe and Germany? I don't know whether they're really increasing. I just know that in our bank, we have the by far highest average number of uh, non-cash transactions in all German, in, in, within all German banks. So I think maybe it's increasing with more the older kind of people. Uh, but I think MasterCard is pushing a lot to, to make like the adoption of uh, mobile payment, but also uh, card payment even more accessible because it's more merchant problem that some small restaurants are not accepting cards. Um, so I think the whole in infrastructure is changing. I even, even think that cards will not exist anymore in a couple of years from now. So does that mean you're going to challenge sum up in their market? I think we would rather partner up with them than challenging them. Hi. Uh, so I wanted to ask about how, so at the moment, obviously, you, you differentiate by basically being like decent, <laughs> like a decent banking. But um, but there are other there are other challenger banks coming about that that have the same differentiator right mm -hmm. now. Right, like we're a startup, we can move quickly. So um, I use Monzo in the UK, which I'm sure you've heard of, because. Yeah. They're doing basically the same thing as you, right? Like, but so yeah. My question is, how how does that look in a few years when um, there's a bunch of you guys around? How what's your differentiator then? Mm -hmm. I think like if you look at the banking market, not just nationally but internationally, that's a huge market. There is no international bank yet. There is no bank operating in in six, seven, eight markets. Um, and I think it will be the, it's the same stuff will happen then to the, the, to the newspaper industry. 20% of the banks will die. 20% of the banks will like buy stuff, like buy some startups uh, and just like to get out of this uh, situation. And 60% will somehow adapt to the market. If we get like a few percent of this dying segment, we are a huge player and we are really big. So I, there's enough space for, for some great startups, first of all. And the second, our advantage to the, all the UK, because all the, the most competitors are from, from UK. We are operating in Euro, so we can launch tomorrow in 17 countries without having any problems. <laughs> no, it's like, it's, it's true. We can launch tomorrow in 17 countries without having problems. Like Portuguese people can sign up for our account within, within seconds and they can fully operate it. It's really a challenge to bring a multi-currency account there, like have, operating with two currencies at the same time. And this is like a core challenge, in particular if you have no banking license, in particular if you're not owning the core banking system as 99% of the startups. So we have this advantage of like uh, having just a much bigger market and being the first ones actually, and we need to use that. Yes, we need to stay competitive, um, but we will continue focusing on user experience. And we also learned that it's really, really hard to build a sustainable business model. And we will see whether those guys will actually make it because investors are now aware that it's not that easy to actually monetize also such a business. And so all the guys are coming after us will have not that like, like an easy life to raise money uh, and get actually to that point to have distraction to raise money and get a banking license again. We have one more question here and I saw another hand sign over there. I know we... We need to keep it a bit <laughs> together. Um, Marcus, will you be joining our conference reception? Yeah. 
So he'll be around more for more questions, but please. Okay, so I'm here. Uh, my question was, uh, can I opt out from the mega app uh, concept? I mean, for example, uh, to opt out from this mega app that does everything. So for example, if I prefer a different service from TransferWise or from uh, uh, Vamo, uh, is there a way for me to keep using your bank but uh, not have to Yes. Come with all the strings attached? Yes, you can just use it as a very normal bank account. You don't need to use our multi-currency transfer. You don't need to use the investment product. You can just use the credit card and do nothing else uh, and keep on using the TransferWise app. It's just more convenient if you have all in one place. So use what, like some people just use it for TransferWise and don't care about the other stuff. So it's like picking whatever is most meaningful to you. Uh, number 20, oh, and sorry, N26 now. Okay. Oops. Uh, yeah, great service. Uh, one of the things that we've been talking a lot about uh, this week, day, end, uh, is touch points. Um, and I know it's a, an app at the moment. Are there any, um, what's your vision for other touch points in the future? Um, we built a, a, a watch app as well, so we, we keep on going with mobile, mobile stuff. Uh, we're not planning to have any branches, to be honest. Um, so that's not, we want to build a self-service experience, that's our core focus, and we want to keep it mobile. So um, mobile phone, uh, watch app, we provide a web application, but you need a mobile phone. And this is also a, a big advantage because other banks, they need to always consider all the edge cases. Okay, I have customers without a mobile phone, so actually I need to provide my service somehow on the other platforms as well. So we can just focus on one platform, that's, that makes us faster, that makes us just... Uh, focusing on one experience. Um, we are always looking into new technologies and new things, uh, but uh, I think we, we, and this made, made us successful so far, we focus and not like try to do many, too many things at the same time. 